Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the Patreon Q&A that I said I was gonna do if we had another blackout and I was bored. We haven't had a blackout, but I don't want to say it too loud because PTSD. But I'm bored. My laptop has been acting up and I, I lost a reaction and I kind of want to just not think about it because I'm gonna go crazy. So I decided to respond to your guys' questions Although I am kind of regretting the place I chose to film because it is hot. It, I had to close all of the doors though because my cat was being really annoying. I mean, she's bored in my room so I, I just like put the dogs in the other room and let her walk freely around. Not the whole house, but this bit. Anyways, the first question is, where are you in Venezuela? I am in Carabobo, Valencia. The next question is, what are your top three favorite moments of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. if you can remember? You know me, you, you know my bad memory, so I'm just, I'm gonna try. Uh, the very first one that I can think of is when... Cory! ¿Qué pasa? Vente! Ven! When word betrayed everybody, uh, that was like the shocking moment that got me hooked to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and that's the very first moment I can think of. The second one... Uh, I don't know. Anything involving May and Coulson being cute and romantic, possibly. Mm -hmm. And the third one, anything involving Gemma and Fitz being romantic. Probably their first kiss or maybe when they had sex for this for the first time. Like they don't show it, but you know, they they show the previous and you know it's gonna happen. So yeah, maybe. Mm. Oh, but I also loved when uh, when we realized that Sky Daisy wasn't inhuman that when she went through pterogenesis and and trip kicked the thing because he was so desperate he, he thought his friend was dying and then he died and that was a very epic moment too it was very very sad but it was epic do you still watch vikings if so what are your thoughts about the later seasons i don't i i stopped watching vikings when i stopped reacting to it i because i i want to continue reacting to it i really do so i'm not watching it but then i'm not reacting to it either so i, <laughs> I don't know what to do same happens with torchwood i stopped reacting to it because not many people were watching those reactions but then i said i was gonna watch it by myself but then i never did so i'm thinking maybe i should start reacting to Vikings and Torchwood again because I mean I gotta finish those shows at some point and if I don't react to them I'm never gonna finish them. Is there any way to send you things? Yes there is. I I posted a video about that exactly in case you guys wanted to send me anything and uh, there was an address and stuff. One of you guys sent me something uh, but it was so difficult to get and he said it was also so expensive to send because, you know, Venezuela is just it's very far away from wherever you guys are, I guess. Um, but I discovered, um, I don't know how to call it in English. It's called Puerta a Puerta in Spanish. It's a, uh, is it courier how you say it? It sends stuff to Venezuela in boats or in uh, planes. Boats is cheaper because you only pay like the volume, the volume of the box. And in plane you pay, it's a little more expensive because you pay for weight. So I discovered this uh, courier, Puerta Puerta. And I ordered food for my cat because it's pretty fucking hard to find here and some other stuff like shampoos and shit and uh, still haven't gotten the box but i know i will because because this is a pretty good puerta puerta it's got 
very good reviews and stuff and I think it's cheaper to send stuff to Venezuela through them so so if you guys want to send me anything I guess you could send it through them to an address that I would have to give you so I could get it here but if you're interested in that maybe I should make another video explaining what are your saddest movie songs social experiment etc social experiment well, my life. <laughs> Saddest movie? I have no idea. I think... Uh, what's the name of that movie? My Girl? My Boy? My Girl. My Girl, right? Where... I think it's it's the, the, the boy from Home Alone. Who's not a boy anymore, but you know. That one. The movie where he dies and, you know. That movie is like the saddest movie I've ever seen. Oh no! Bridge to Terabithia, that's that's the name of the movie? Bridge to Terabithia? It is in Spanish, Puente a Terabithia, but yeah, that one is pretty sad too. Song... Uh, the Way We Were, that's also my favorite movie. I love that movie so much. I think it's from 1973 and it's uh, with Barbra Streisand and I forgot the name of the actor, but it's like the most down-to-earth movie I have ever seen and it's so realistic it's romantic but it's realistic realistic and the song also called the way we were is oh my god it's my jam TV series that were cancelled but you wish they would come back uh, probably Torchwood although I haven't finished Torchwood but yeah I oh my god no yes yes oh What's the name of that show? The Exorcist. <laughs> Why would you do that to us? We need to know what, what's gonna happen. And I miss Marcus and, and Tomas. Oh, Sensate. Sensate deserves a third season. We deserve a third season. I hate when people just cancel good shows. I mean, instead of canceling the bad ones, you just cancel the ones that with most potential and story and... Ugh. What movie would be greatly improved if, if it was made into a musical? I have no idea. I love musicals, but I don't know. Maybe Bridget Jones's Diary? <laughs> That's one of my favorite movies too. Name something that everyone looks stupid doing. I think filming. <laughs> filming reactions specifically. Because <laughs> if you if you see a reactor through a window while filming their reaction to something, like it's just weird, okay? It's awkward. Name three things that if you bought them together would make the cashier extremely uncomfortable. If I bought them together. I have no idea, like my brain doesn't work. I would probably buy three things that would make the cashier very uncomfortable without even knowing, without even noticing. I can't say condoms, right? Because we're grown-ups now. We're not ashamed to buy condoms anymore. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe a robe or a machete or something like that and bleach. I don't know. How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? 500 If you won a competition to have dinner with your favorite celebrity, who would you choose? Oh my god, I love so many people I love so many people but I don't know Like, of course, you would think that I'm gonna say Tom Holland But I don't wanna meet him like that I don't, I don't wanna be like, hey, I'm your fan, oh my god And I want a ticket to be with you and have dinner with you No, I want us to meet in a natural way Where we can start a relationship like it's supposed to Like, you know, like, naturally <laughs> So Tom Holland, no, definitely no. I, I, I want to meet him as natural as possible so we could get in a relationship and get married and have kids. I don't even want kids, but if he wants kids, uh, I'll give him a thousand. Oh my god, who? Who? Okay, okay, either Sir Ian McKellen or Sir Patrick Stewart because they're old and adorable and I love them with my if it If it could be both of them, oh, I would die. It would be the best day of my life. No, wait a minute. Peter 
Capaldi. But also, I want to meet Peter Capaldi like naturally, so he can be like, "Hey, I want to adopt you. Do you want to become Sora Capaldi?" And I'll be like, "Fuck yeah!" I know he can't adopt me anymore because I'm an old fart. But <laughs> a girl can dream. Come on, that's all we have left in this hell of a country. Dreams, broken dreams, but dreams at last. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my Patreon Q and A. If you know Tom Holland, please don't tell him that I'm planning our whole lives together, like how we're gonna meet naturally and all, because I gotta seem normal. I have to fake that I'm normal, at least in the beginning. I <laughs> know, oh, Tom Holland, please don't leave me. I love you. And as always, I'm Saramiana, and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man.